One of the toughest addictions I have ever, ever overcame was the addiction of being a victim. And it was an unconscious addiction. I didn't even realize the role I was playing. I only knew it from birth. And I also knew staying in that state of behavior and habits, there was suffering. There was a lot of pain. There was a lot of misery. I was very unhappy. I was very disconnected, very isolated deep inside. Honestly, I did not know how to get out of that web. But through experience after experience and my sole desire to say, I, I want to be happy. I want to know what it is to feel peace. I want to know what it is to feel joy. I want to know what it is not to be a doormat and so darn codependent. Wow. And the greatness of the spirit world will always answer our deepest yearnings and desires. Coming off that drug of being a victim gets filled with creativity, giving back, fulfillment in, in life, creating and following the passions of our heart, never ignoring a hunch, never ignore a hunch. Follow your gut, follow your intuition. Turning that bleeding heart into a royal ruby, a heart of just such strength and love. And true love does take strength. It takes action. It takes will being willing to break out of the mold. When the rest of the world and the rest of your family might say, you are crazy. You are really crazy. My deepest desire and intention for anyone and everyone reading the book, she thought she could, she did, is to have a fire ignite in their heart that gives them a clear sense and feeling of hope, help, and healing. That wherever they're stuck today, they will be unstuck tomorrow. There is direction. There are prayers in that book. There's inspiration. There are lessons and experiences to walk through. That I promise you, in reading the book, by the time you're done, you will have feelings, a, a change of awareness. You will transcend your old self into the most authentic, beautiful being you are here to be.